Hey, Kavan, there's such an emphasis on having a, a spaced out floor. As you're playing in these games, can you sense the difference this season? Uh, definitely. No, I think just more of the shooting. I think even last year we emphasized uh, spacing the floor, but uh, having a the new personnel is kind of changing uh, the balance to the floor and how the defense is guarding. So uh, the paint is uh, way more open. Guys are getting a lot more driving lanes and uh, we're moving the ball pretty well. Andre remarked this morning that with so many unfamiliar faces, he was surprised at how well you guys are moving it already and, and seemed to have some chemistry there. Is this surprising you at all? Or had you seen this some of the first week of camp? Uh, it's it's a bit surprising because, you know, uh, it's not easy coming in and picking up our system. Uh, usually guys first get here, they kind of struggle, uh, knowing where to go, knowing when to cut. Uh, but, you know, guys like Otto, Belly, they just fit right in. You know, everyone's playing good. And, you know, Juan, Mike, everybody, everybody on the bench uh, kind of already know what they're doing. So uh, everybody's been picking up fast. Credit to the coaching staff and uh, the player development guys to make sure, uh, you, know, you know, pounding in, pounding home uh, that we've moved the ball and we've been doing a really good job. Um, when what did you see behind the scenes with Jordan Poole th this summer and maybe even back to, to last year to indicate that this might be happening with him? Uh, even start of training camp last year, he was, you uh, know, real aggressive. He was uh, starting to make better decisions. And, uh, you know, when he came back from the uh, bubble in Orlando, his confidence was sky high. And he carried that over to, to our team. We, we needed him to score. And he uh, – you know, really, he did that for us. And this offseason, every time I seen him, every time I came back to work out and uh, at the chase, he was here. And uh, he looked amazing. You know, he was tough to guard. You know, I take pride in being on the whole guards off the switch. He was he was giving me a lot of problems. So, you know, I've seen his growth. Uh, I think everybody on our team has been seeing it. And he's been really, uh, you know, even in training camp, he's been looking really great. So seeing what he did these first two, two games is uh, not surprising. You know, we've been seeing the work he put in and uh, how he's been killing in the uh, summertime. Just going back to Otto, what are your first impressions of him? Uh, he, he has a high IQ, you know, uh, and he's a great shooter. You know, even my first a couple of days of training camp, I see I didn't, I didn't see him really missing any shots. And I knew he had a, a reputation as being a shooter, but you don't know until you really see a guy up close and you know, watch him shoot the ball and drills. And uh, even in his scrimmages, it's been uh, fun to watch. It's going to be a great help to our team. It's probably an obvious question, but when you do have some bigs like Otto and Belly who can shoot it, what, what does that do for you guys? I just uh, spaces the floor a, a lot more, you know, uh, gives Steph way more uh, space to operate, gives Jordan a lot more space to operate, you know. Uh, when Draymond's making uh, his decisions in the, in the pocket, it really uh, opens enough. But even for me rolling, I know when I, I'm kicking it out to great shooters and, and it makes our offense flow a lot better. Juan, how much do you think Juan can, can build off what he did last year and even if you know you don't know necessarily how many minutes every guy's going to get but uh just such a special year for him and and getting some momentum from that yeah I think last year he really solidified himself as a, a NBA player and uh they can play a a role on a good team and I think he's just gonna carry that over uh, he's been working hard this summer and prove it is three-point shooting and uh, we all all know he's going to defend he's going to give it his all every time he's going out there but he's becoming a better playmaker even a better uh, a shooter and a better defender, so I think he's gonna he's gonna find a way to to get minutes on his team. You know, he's a, he's a great player. He brings a, a special energy, and we all kind of feed off of him and uh, that toughness that he brings. Does he do that in, in practice too? That energy. What what? Uh, how yes, do you guys uh, Juan hates to lose, so he counts all his win in the summertime. Once he he does win, he's gonna tell you about it. So uh, he's fun to, to be in the, in the in the gym with every day. He brings that competitive joy, and uh, he's one of my my favorite teammates to play with Thank and you. against. This, these first two games, we've talked so much about the spacing and the shooting. Um, in that first unit, uh, you're the you're the voice of the defense. How are how are you and Draymond and Wiggins um, coming together there as as defenders right now? Oh, uh, we're doing. Uh, I think we're doing an okay job. I think we did a decent job in the first game. Uh, I think uh, first quarter we got off to kind of a slow start. You know, Jokic is, is a tough player to prepare for. You know, he got he got a, got them a lot of open shots. He hit shots so. Uh, it's a, our defense is a work in progress. We got a lot of new faces and doing some, some different things. But I think by the time opening night come, we're going to be locked in. That's one of our goals to continue to build off uh, our defense of last year. It was a top five defense. And we're going to continue to improve that. And uh, I think we have the personnel and the talent to do that.
in some ways with all the the schemes and rotations that you guys do, it, can his defense maybe sometimes slower during training camp to come along than the offensive side? Uh, definitely. You know, uh, offense, when you have special players like Steph and Draymond, the offense is going to take care of itself. We're going to be able to score points. But, you know, defense, learning the terminology, uh, learning where players are going to be at and uh, building that trust, is uh it takes a while. So, uh, you know, we have one of the best defenders in the league in Draymond. So he's always going to hold everybody accountable. And it just gives us a, a head start. But uh, we got to continue to just build on our foundation and continue to uh, build the fundamentals. And I think we're we making the right steps. And uh, I think we're going to have a great defense this year. <laughs> I mean, I want to, but, you know, we got eight other guys shooting at three. So I don't know. I mean, if we shot 69, so I might as well make the shoot to 71, so. <laughs> Coach, Coach, said before the game, you guys shoot 80 if they were good shot. Yeah, hey, I mean, I got to get my five up there. <laughs> yeah. All right, anything on the Zoom? Kavon, uh, you've been a champion here. You're back. Uh, some new faces and some familiar faces back, like Andre. Can you just talk about what you see so far? Uh, having uh, Andre back has been great. Just his leadership and his voice is uh, well needed in our locker room. Uh, he brings a different perspective. Uh, you know, we've been uh, – he just brings that culture back. You know, Clay, Draymond, and Steph build a culture here, and, and Andre, and having him back just help, help fills out that that void that we were missing. So, uh, you know, it's, it's fun having him back. Uh, I think we're getting that, 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 that feel of uh, – that joy used to play with, of moving the ball, shooting threes, and everybody's cheering for each other. And uh, – and I'm looking forward to, to this team and seeing how far we can go.